welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat charikarti bari bharti संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करति बरी भरति संजरी हरति लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर स्टडिंग द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स ऑफ समास इन संस्कृत नेमली the avyayi bhava samasa the bahuvrihi samasa and the dvandva samasa in this course so far we have studied the core aspects of the avyayi bhava samasa namely the samasa pratyaya vidhayaka sutras which prescribe the conditions in which the avyayi bhava samasa takes place they were stated from 215 onwards up to 2121 we also studied the samasanta pratyayas stated with respect to the avyay bhava samasa in detail they are stated in the section from 54107 up to 54112 now we focus on the next important type of samasas in sanskrit namely the bahuvrihi samasa bahuvrihi samasa is very crucial very important a unique feature of sanskrit which according to us shows a different level of speech practice as far as the sanskrit language is concerned on a different plane different than the rest where the referent of the word uttered or the sound uttered is totally different than the constituents now the features of the bahuvrihi samasa can be shown in the form of a simple equation shown on this particular slide note that in the output side that is xy there is no letter marked in the bold which is very significant so we have x and y two different independent entities as far as the word form is concerned as well as the meaning is concerned as well as the accent is concerned the plus sign between x and y indicates that both x and y are semantically related the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and generate a different output in the form of xy now this xy is one unit in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent so there are three features of the samasa in general namely aikarthya or ekarthata aikapadya or ekapadatta and aikasvarya or ekasvarata which are visible now amongst the constituents none of them is shown with the bold characters primarily because in the bahuvrihi samasa none of the constituents plays the role of the head of the samasa so the head of the samasa lies outside of the samasa so both x as well as y are subordinate with respect to this external head in the samasa this is a very crucial very important feature of the bahuvrihi samasa which is why we said that bahuvrihi samasa shows the state of mind of the speakers of sanskrit 
which is at a totally different elevated plane which is closer to what the later grammarians called the Baudha Artha, the Baudha status of the language, which is not so very clear as far as even the other languages are concerned. In modern languages, we do find examples of Tatpurusha as well as Avyayi Bhava as well as Dvandva, but very rarely we find examples of the Bahuvrihi Samasa in several modern languages which are not borrowed from Sanskrit. There are some Bahuvrihi Samasas in, say, for example, English, which have to be explained with the help of the suffix ed. And there are very few examples where you don't express the Anya Padartha without adding the suffix ed. In the Ashtadhyayi, Bahuvrihi Samasa is stated at different places. For example, the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras, the compound prescribing sutras, they start with Shesho Bahuvrihi, that is 2.2.22 onwards up to 2.2.28 including, which is Tena Saheti Tulya Yoga. Incidentally, 2.2.29 is Charthe Dvandvaha, the sutra that prescribes the Dvandva Samasa. Before 2.2.22, that is 2.2.21, is the sutra where, which is the end of the sutras prescribing the Tatpurusha Samasa. We have already studied the sutras delineating the process of the derivation of the Tatpurusha Samasa in the first course on Samasa in this particular series of courses. Then we have the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras stated in 5.4 where there is a big section that begins with 5.4.113 onwards up to 5.4.160. This is the section in which the Samasanta Pratyayas are stated. Now in this particular section, peculiarity is that of the substitutes which are also stated. So at the end of the Bahuvrihi Samasas, not just the Samasanta Pratyayas are added, but there are some cases where even the substitutes are added. They are also part of this particular big section. And then we have Swaravidhayaka Sutras, Sutras prescribing the accent on the Bahurihi Samasa in 6.2, namely the very first sutra of 6.2.1, namely Bahuvriho Prakritya Purva Padam, states the accent of the Bahuvrihi Samasa. And then we have from 62106 up to 62120, and from 62162 up to 62177, these are the sutras prescribing the accent in the Bahuvrihi Samasa. Right now, we shall focus on the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras first, and we'll study them first, and then we shall proceed towards the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras. We will not deal with the Swara Sutras in detail in this particular course. In this particular lecture, we shall introduce ourselves to some of the basic features of the Bahuvrihi Samasas through various examples that we know that are used in Sanskrit and that are also used in many of the modern Indian languages. Let us go one by one. Let us take the examples. The Laukika Vigraha is Yasya Chitraha Gavaha Sagopalo Gachati. So this means that a particular cowboy is going who possesses cows of different colors, variegated colors. Now in this particular sentence, we have yasya, chitraha, gavaha and saha, four padas which are not compounded. Here there is no samasa. Each word is appearing independent of each other. 
यस्य स्पेस चित्रा स्पेस गाव स्पेस सह स्पेस एंड गोपाल स्पेस एंड गच्छति सो देर आर सिक्स सेपरेट वर्ड्स सेपरेट पदर्स सेपरेटेड बाय स्पेसिस सम ऑफ देम आर ऑल्सो जॉइंड बाय संधि सो गोपाल बिकम्स गोपालो सह बिकम्स स एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ हावे वर वी से द सेम इन द फॉलोइंग मैनर चित्र गुर गोपालो गच्छति इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर केस यस्य चित्रा गाव सह गेट्स ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इन टू चित्र गुर देर इज वन वर्ड एक्सप्रेसिंग दीज फोर वर्ड्स एंड देर मीनिंग्स सो वी से दैट हियर देर इज अ समास ये चित्रा गाव सह एंड चित्र गुह दे आर को रिलेटेड सो फोर वर्ड्स आर अपियरिंग टुगेदर एज वन यूनिट ये चित्रा गाव एंड सह नाउ इन द सेंटेन्स वी हैव थ्री वर्ड्स separated from each other by a space so in the sentence where a samasa is used there are three words as against a sentence where the samasa is not done these are some of the important features of the samasa in general and also the bahuvrihi samasa in particular now as we notice that chitra guhu is a samasa which is not dissolved only as chitra gaava it has to be dissolved as yasya chitra gaava sah so yasya and sah these two are the additional words which make the vigraha bahuvrihi samasa an aspapada vigraha which we shall talk about in a while but let us look at some more examples and how their vigraha takes place so we know gajanana is the samasa whose vigraha is gajasya ananam iva ananam yes yes saha so here we have gaja and anana as two constituents x and y and what gaja means is an elephant what anana means is the face or the head but what gajanana means one whose head is like that of that of an elephant so the word that gajanana is pointing out to is ganesha because ganesha according to indian mythology has the head of an elephant so ganesha is the head of this particular samasa not gaja and nor anana similarly ekadanta whose laukika vigraha is ekah dantah yasya sah ekah dantah yasya sah one who has only one tooth once again this refers to lord ganesha so ek and dant these are the two constituents and none of them appears to be the head of the samasa which is ek dant so anya padarth namely ganesha is what is pradhana similarly when we have the example lambodara the laukika vigraha is lambam udaram yasya sah one whose belly is prolonged one who has big belly so the constituents are lamba and udara however this is a bahuvrihi samasa and so anya padartha which is ganesha in this case which is pradhana lambo udara ganesha then we have nilakantha nilaha kantha yasya sah so the constituents are nila and kantha but the compound form namely dilakantha does not have a, either of them playing the role of the head rather none of them plays the role of the head and it is shiva which is the head which is external to this samasa that is anya padartha and so this is anya padartha pradhana samasa one whose throat is black and obviously that is the description of shiva after he consumed the poison coming out of the churning of the ocean chakrapani is the samasa and the laukika vigraha is chakram panau yasya sah once again we notice that the words yasya sah keeps on adding and coming as part of the laukika vigraha chakram panau yasya sah one in whose hands is the wheel 
and this refers to Vishnu because Vishnu is the one who holds that wheel in his hand. Similarly, Shula Pani is the Samasa and the Vigraha is Shulam Panau Yasyasaha, one in whose hands is the spear, one who holds spear in his hand. That is nothing but Shiva once again. So Shula Pani has got Shula and Pani as the two constituents, but none of them acts as the head of the Samasa. It is the Anyapadartha, namely Shiva, which acts as the head of this particular Samasa, which is a very important feature of the Bahurihi Samasa. The next example is Mushaka Vahana, where there are two constituents, Mushaka and Vahana. Mushakaha, Vahanam, Yasya, Saha, whose vehicle is a mouse. Once again, this Samasa refers to Ganesha. Similarly, Garuda Vahana, Garudaha Vahanam Yasya Saha, one whose vehicle is eagle, that is Garuda Vahana, who is none other than Vishnu. Similarly, we have Mayura Vahana, Mayuraha Vahanam Yasya Saha, Mayura Vahana, whose vehicle is a peacock and the Anyapadartha over here is Kartikeya. Kartikeya is called Mayura Vahana. Similarly, we have Vrukodara, another example of Bahurihi Samasa in Sanskrit, whose Laukika Vigraha is Vrukasya Udaram Iva Udaram Yasya Saha, one whose belly is like that of a wolf. So, Vrukadara refers to Bhima as the Anyapadartha. Next is Kapi Dvaja. Kapihi Dvaje Yasya Saha. One on whose flag is a monkey. Monkey here refers to Hanuman. And so it is Arjuna on whose flag Hanuman resides. So he is called Kapi Dvaja. So this word Kapi Dvaja refers to Arjuna. Neither of the constituents Kapi nor Dvaja, they are the head of the Samasa. Arjuna, the Anyapadartha, is the head of this particular Samasa. Then we have next Shesha Shayana, Sheshaha Shayanam Yasya Saha, one whose bed is the snake Shesha. And this is nothing but Vishnu once again, Shesha Shayana. After having studied these examples, which depict the Indian mythology, let us look at some more examples in which the verbal forms occupy the initial position of the Samasa, namely Krita Kritya, Kritam Krityam Yenasaha, one who has done what should be done. Krita is one who has done and so, Krita is what is done and Kritya is what should be done. So, one who has done what should be done is the Anyapadartha of Krita Kritya, Kritam Krityam Yena Saha. So, Krita Kritya refers to the Karta, the agent of the action of doing, which is mentioned by the word Yena. So, here Z. It could be anybody, this Z, which is the Anyapadartha, which acts as the head of the Samasa Krita Kritya. Similarly, Prapta Vidya, Prapta Vidya Yenasaha, that is the Laukika Vigraha, one who has obtained the knowledge. It could be anybody, we have mentioned it as Z, capital, which acts as the head of the Samasa. Similarly, Bhuktau Dana is the Samasa and the Vigraha is Bhuktaha Odanaha Yenasaha, one who has eaten the rice and that is the Anyapadartha Z which acts as the head of this particular Samasa. 
Similarly, drishta para, drishtaha paraha yenasaha, one who has seen the other shore. Z acts as the head of the samasa drishta para. Now, in all these four examples, the action word krita, prapta, bhukta, and drishta is mentioned, and the anya padartha has the relation of karta with the actions mentioned therein, namely kru. Aap, Bhuja and Drisha To do, to obtain, to eat and to see So the Anya Padartha acts as the Karta of all these actions in these particular Samasa examples These are various examples of the Bahuvrihi Samasa that we have seen, that we have studied Now let us study some of the important features of the Bahuvrihi Samasa based on these examples. First, Bahuvrihi Samasa is a very important type of Samasa in Sanskrit. Although we must note that it doesn't have many subtypes as a Tatpurusha Samasa has, yet the Bahuvrihi Samasa is considered to be very productive enough. Especially in the classical Sanskrit literature, Bahuvrihi Samasa is profusely used, especially by the poets who write in verse medium. Now, the other important feature of this Samasa is that, by default, Anyapada and its meaning are the head. So, we have the statement, Prayana Anyapadartha Pradhanaha Bahuvrihi, where Anyapadartha is the head of the Arthas. The other important feature of this Bahuvrihi Samasa is that, by default, the vowel of the Purvapada of the compound is accented. Bahuvrihau Prakritya Purvapadam 6.2.1 So what is the Anya Padartha Pradhanya? Here we explain once again. In Chitra Gu, Chitra and go, these are the X and Y, and the Gopala is the head. In Gajanana, Gaja X is X and Anana is Y, but Ganesha Z is the head. In Chakrapani, Chakra which is X and Pani which is Y, however Vishnu which is Z is the head. Similarly in Mayura Vahana, where Mayura is X, and Vahana is Y, Kartikeya, which is Z, which is Anya Padartha, which is the head. Similarly, in Krita Kritya, Krita is X and Kritya is Y, but someone either M, that is masculine, or F, that is feminine, or neuter, N, which is the Z, which is the head over here. So, Zs, Ganesha, Vishnu, Kartikeya, and someone either masculine or feminine or neuter determine the form of the Bahuvrihi compound over here. So, to summarize, we can say that a Bahuvrihi Samasa is primarily a Visheshana. It qualifies some other meaning. The constituents, namely X and Y, of the Bahuvrihi Samasa give additional information about the Z. They are semantically subordinate to the meaning of the Z. They get related to the outer word and its meaning only through the meaning of the Z. That is the meaning of Anya Padartha Pradhanya. What it also means is that Bahuvrihi Samasa Binga Visheshana can be declined in all three genders depending on the gender of the qualificant. Here we have a very famous verse, Yallingam yadvachanam yacha vibhaktir visheshyasya, tallingam tadvachanam sacha vibhaktir visheshanasyapi, which says that which gender, number and the case is that of a qualificant, same gender, same number and case, applies to the qualification as well. 
सो इफ यू हैव प्राप्त विद्य विच इज द बहुव्रीही समास एंड इफ द क्वालिफिकंड इज समबडी इन मैस्किलिन द वर्ड प्राप्त विद्य विल बी डिक्लाइंड इन द मैनर इन विच अ मैस्किलिन वर्ड इज डिक्लाइंड इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर मैनर ऑन द शोन ऑन द स्लाइड प्राप्त विद्या प्राप्त विद्यौ प्राप्त विद्या प्रथमा प्राप्त विद्यम प्राप्त विद्यौ प्राप्त विद्या द्वितीया प्राप्त विद्यन प्राप्त विद्याभ्याम प्राप्त विद्य ही तृतीया प्राप्त विद्याय प्राप्त विद्याभ्याम प्राप्त विद्यभ्य चतुर्थी प्राप्त विद्या प्राप्त विद्याभ्याम प्राप्त विद्यभ्य पंचमी प्राप्त विद्यस्य प्राप्त विद्यो प्राप्त विद्या षष्ठी एंड प्राप्त विद्य प्राप्त विद्यो प्राप्त विद्यु सप्तमी दिस विल बी द मैस्किलिन प्राप्त विद्या बाल सपोज द क्वालिफिकन इज फेमिन देन द वर्ड प्राप्त विद्य विच इज द समास आउटपुट वुड बी डिक्लाइंड इन अकॉर्डन्स विद द डिक्लेन्शन ऑफ द फेमिन फॉर्म सो दोज फॉर्म्स वुड बी लाइक दिस प्राप्त विद्या प्राप्त विद्य प्राप्त विद्या प्रथमा प्राप्त विद्या बालिका प्राप्त विद्या प्राप्त विद्य प्राप्त विद्या द्वितीया प्राप्त विद्यया प्राप्त विद्याभ्या प्राप्त विद्या तृतीया प्राप्त विद्याय प्राप्त विद्याभ्या प्राप्त विद्याभ्य चतुर्थी प्राप्त विद्याया प्राप्त विद्याभ्या प्राप्त विद्याभ्य पंचमी प्राप्त विद्याया प्राप्त विद्यो प्राप्त विद्या षष्ठी एंड प्राप्त विद्याया प्राप्त विद्यो प्राप्त विद्यासु सप्तमी If the qualification denotes the neuter gender, so prapta vidyam kulam, for example, a family, then the same compound output would be declined in accordance with the declension of the neuter form, which is like this: prapta vidyam, prapta vidye, prapta vidyani prathama, prapta vidyam, prapta vidye, prapta vidyani dvitiya, and prapta vidyena. प्राप्त विद्या ये एट्सेट्रा लाइक मैस्किलिन फॉर्म्स व्हिच आर आल्सो द फॉर्म्स ऑफ द न्यूटर वर्ड द पॉइंट वी हियर इज दैट द बहुव्रीही समास प्राप्त विद्य इज डिक्लाइन इन ऑल द थ्री जेंडर्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन द नंबर एंड जेंडर ऑफ द क्वालिफिकन व्हिच इन दीज केसेस वेर डिफरेंट प्राप्त विद्या बाल मैस्किलिन प्राप्त विद्या बालिका फेमिनिन प्राप्त विद्यम कुलम न्यूटर एंड द डिक्लेंशन वुड बी अकॉर्डन्स विद द क्वालिफिकंट जनरली बोथ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट्स ऑफ द बहुव्रीही समास रिफर टू वन एंड द सेम एंटिटी दिस इज अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ द बहुव्रीही समास फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ द सेमेंटिक्स देयर मीनिंग्स आर डिफरेंट but they are referring to one and the same entity thus they are called samanadhikarana so for example mushaka vahana mushaka means mouse vahana means a vehicle but here they are referring to one and the same entity mushaka being the vahana and that's why mushaka and vahana both of them are called samanadhikarana having the same referent that is an important feature of बहुव्रीही समास दिस इज अ नेसेसरी कंडीशन फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द बहुव्रीही समास बेस्ड ऑन दिस ऑपरेशन लाइक पोम्बत भाव टेक प्लेस नाउ वॉट इज पोम्बत भाव वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस इन द अर्लियर पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स बट लेट इज क्विकली समराइज इट पोम्बत भाव इज अ बैक गोइंग प्रोसेस वेर अ फेमिन इन फॉर्म विच इज फॉर्म by adding a feminine suffix to the nominal root goes back to that nominal root by deleting that feminine suffix i repeat pumbad bhava is a back going process where a feminine form which is formed by adding a feminine suffix to the nominal root goes back to that nominal root by deleting that feminine suffix so if prapta is derived by adding the feminine suffix a to prapta Pumbad bhava says that prapta goes back to prapt by deleting the feminine suffix a. That's why prapta vidya yena saha and prapta has become prapt. So 
the finally derived compound output has prapta vidya and not prapta vidya. However, sometimes vyadhikarana also becomes the basis. This is an exception. What is vyadhikarana? Vyadhikarana means having different reference. For example, kanthe kalaha yasya saha, one in whose throat is the poison. Kanthe kalaha yasya saha. Here, throat and poison are referring to two different entities, which is clearly evident from the use of the vibhakti, namely kanthe, which is the saptami and kalaha, which is prathama. Whereas previously, when we had nilakantha, we said nilaha kanthaha yasya saha. The samana vibhakti katva indicated that both the words refer to one and the same entity, even though their meanings are different. Finally, we can say that bahurihi samasas are nitya samasas in the form of an asvapada vigraha. They are asvapada vigraha type of nitya samasas, where we have to add additional words in order to do the samasa vigraha, nilakantha, and we cannot derive it and dissolve it as nilaha kantaha. We have to add yasya saha. Similarly, garuda vahana cannot be garuda vahanam. It has to be garuda vahanam yasya saha. Similarly, prapta vidya yena saha has to be the laukika vigraha of prapta vidya and it cannot be prapta vidya alone. To summarize, by default, Anyapada Z and its meaning Anyapadartha are the head of the Bahuvrihi Samasa. A Bahuvrihi Samasa is by default a Visheshana. Gender, number and the case of the Bahuvrihi Samasa output depends on the gender, number and case of the qualificant. Bahuvrihi Samasas are Nitya Samasas. So we study in the next lecture the Bahurihi Samasa Vidhayaka Sutra. These are the texts referred to. Thank you very much.